to Urban Mix and this is your boy Prince. Today is another day, another week and we are here. Man, it's a whole lot going on and I'm just here as always to give you the gist as what is going on in the entertainment industry right here in the United States, back home in Africa, everywhere globally. I mean, coronavirus is still striking, but hey, we're not laying down. We're still going high. We're still going massive. Thank you for always being here and thank you for subscribing to the channel. Man, you're doing a massive job. Keep dropping your comments in anything that you see here that you think we can do it better. You can do it and tell us. Drop your comment, subscribe to our page, go on Instagram, it's urban underscore mix. We just had a good time right now and it was massive. Let's go straight and take the first story. Today it's massive already on the internet. It was Shatawale during the week. He had a concert called the Fate Concert. It was massive. I mean, the stage and everything, it was massive. As you can see on your screen, I mean, it was a one-man stand, one-man show. He did everything from bottom to the top. It was massive. He did this actually in his own mansion in Ghana, not any stage, but his own pool. All right, check out the Fate Concert. Oh, oh, oh. Stop. I mean, Shata, you're doing good. I mean, here in the United States, everybody was rooting for you. I know everybody is trying to get engaged with their fans, and this was massive. It was streaming live. You did a massive job. Hey, your boy Twitch will bring a lot on this, so just stay tuned as you're watching me. He will be here with me on the flip side. Let's go straight and take the next story. Everybody on the internet, on the website, wherever, Twitter, Social media is blazing. It's going down. Your man Sarkodi Obedi Pombedi. I mean, from day one, he has been holding down with the MCs, with beat makers, and the whole lot. It's going down. He started this actually after Swiss Beat and Timberland did a massive job trying to engage with, on the social media with their fans. Sarkodi started this by coming up with behind the hits. The first people that started this battle actually was a Pietus way back he is a senior with jq those that don't know jq jq has been in the industry then times that is boot back days he has been i mean banger one after the other so he started this with a Pietus. man that was massive they did the first show i mean on this first show people were not like not taking it serious because like it was on the low slow motion but man the second one that came on that sparked everything up, that gingered everybody on the internet trying to now score who won and who lost was between the beat killer, Kill Beat, and Richie Mensa. Man, it was massive. After the whole show, social media went blazing. Everybody was sharing their comments as to who won, as to who was like slagging on the live. I mean, Let's take a look at it. Honestly, this was massive. Social media went blazing after they just finished. Everybody was just sharing their comment, the excitement, and people were just saying, now this is becoming a competition, even though they just have to entertain themselves. I mean, QB took it into a different level, dropping hit after hit, and honestly, all Richie would say is, man, I like it. I think it's nice. It was like, I mean, it was hands down. It got to a point that he even has to play Kwame Eugene's song and it was like oh my god 
your beats your hits and everything is done but hey it was just fun sakodia came back and said hey guys take it cool this is not a competition but you know what dkb said man you're lying this is a competition you're trying to just set it up i mean it was funny just listen to dkb <laughs> i don't know why people still trust sakodia sakodia hey don't trust him. He will lead you into temptation. The Bible says, "Lead not, lead us not to temptation." Or be him, You see the way he packaged the whole thing for the culture behind the heads. Beautiful, abuwa, upiyo washim, bossa, she, abide. You guys don't know. If Sakode tells me that the time is 3 p.m., I'll Google it. Sakode, if he says the sun is shining, I'll wait till I sweat before I believe it. Have you guys forgotten we did a Dooms of video? When the time for the video came, what was Sakode in Ghana? Sakode flew out, went outside Ghana, so that when the police bring the slaps, we will collect it. You forgotten? He left us, he left us, went abroad. Quite that day, I was scared. Come look at this head. I can't dodge police slap. Eh? Obedi, Pombedi. Don't joke. Nipo said, forget Yawana Bessin. Forget Yawana Bessin. Who put you in the Yawa? He be in. He be go for the Sakode here. Who be telling you, wait! No one forgot him. After Qubit killed Richie Mensa, I mean, it's a frame and it's it's what is going on in the internet. Everybody said Qubit killed Richie Mensa, beat everything, hits everything, lyrics, everything. Fun even in the studio was massive, where the Aku vibes and all these guys were there just supporting their boss. So it was massive. After this, then came together with DJ Breezy and street beat actually street beat was playing an away because away and home is different level street beat was outside ghana in italy right so it got to a point that dj breezy has to just play a delay tactics and all the viewers were like man mad on him that hey just drop it and let's go but hey street beat did a good job hit after hit so at the end of the day I mean, you can judge. I'm not here to judge. You watched it. If you did not, just watch it and just tell me who won this one as well. Because, I mean, the first one was kind of a draw between Apiatus and JQ. The second one, you guys gave it to Kill Beat. So this time around, you know who won. So just, hey, go on your Instagram, on our page, Urban underscore Mix, right here on YouTube as you're watching us. Just drop your comment. It's a big surprise and I'm going to reveal it to you big time. Stay tuned. It's going to be massive. We are coming straight to UK and it's going to be Urban Mix on your TV channel. So don't slack. Just subscribe to us so that you can get all the information as to when we are coming to you in UK. Just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Prince. I'm always trying to be fresh, look clean. And this show is brought to you by Oheneba Films, supported by Twitch, Twitch, Twitch Sin, and everybody that is behind cameras and everything you can see behind the scene. It's a whole massive studio. We're trying to make it work. We're trying to make it work and entertain you. Please and please again, follow us, share with friends. It's always your boy Prince. I'm trying to always to entertain you, make you feel better whilst you are under quarantine. We are all under quarantine, but hey, this coronavirus is not keeping us down. Stay tuned, we'll be back. Right now you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. If this is the first time you're watching us, hey, this is your boy Prince, this is Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best and the best is on here right now, every day. Just go ahead, subscribe to our channel right now, click the button. Every time we share a new video, you're gonna be the first person to see it. All right, so just right about DJ Breezy and Street Beat finish their time, it came to MOG and Miss Master Gazi. I mean, this was also massive. I mean, one thing I realized was anybody that had a lot of music from your man, uh, um, Stoneboy, was winning because it was like back to back. Miss Master Gazi, in my opinion, also killed this. He did killed it. It's, it looks like the Tema guys are trying to just murder the game, but hey, I mean, Ashama guys and all these Accra boys are also doing massive, but hey, as always, you watched it, and this is what happened. Just look at it. <laughs> Yeah, 
I don't want to draw this one as well. So you watched it and you know what happened. Just drop your comment. Just let us know who you think also won this. So from Apiertus, we draw it. I think Apiertus and JQ it was a draw. Nobody. If it's 10-10, everybody got it. From QB to Richie Mensa, it was like 10 over four and a half. Man, it was hands down. From DJ Breezy and Street Beat, I would say it was like six and 10 because i mean street beat was on point back to back even though he was playing away but hey still he was massive it came to miss mazagazi i'm just giving this one open to you guys just let me know who won this one because i know at the end of the day it has to be a winner i mean master Gazi did a good job so hey if you're a follower you know us we just giving you the facts not because we like somebody you watched it so just tell us who want this one? Just right after MOG and Mr. Master Gazi, the next day it was KWAR and JMJ. And honestly, these were the old folks and they were just doing their own thing. This I don't want to draw. If you watched it, you know what I'm talking about. It was massive between both of them. Both of them just dropped hit after hit. And KWAR was dedicating this one to Castro. Man, it's been a while. It's almost like six, seven years that Castro, I mean, anybody, we don't know. But hey, they all did good. So if you know who also won this one, just let me know. Drop your comment under the video right now and let us know. Man, it's, it's, it's been very, very interesting the whole week. Man, if you've been watching and been following Sakodia, he's been posting this back to back, supporting the behind the hits just right after ky and gmg finished their section sakura just dropped sub zero if you've not watched it man this is massive why will sakura do this after shatawale just finished his fate concert is he just doing this to just push his fate concert away or anything i mean just drop your comment if after listening to the music i was like man this is dope coronavirus in there everything that is going on he being under quarantine he being under lockdown anything that is going on man he spit everything on this beat and it's massive it's hitting over twenty-five thousand views just dropping it within 10 minutes just right after he dropped this everybody is commenting everybody is saying this is the day song to Shatawale. I don't think so. If you think so, man, Twitch will be here to just to give us more information as to why Sakodia dropped this at this point after Shatawale just finished this um, fake concert. I don't think he just did it purposely, but hey, this is what is going on. He wanted to just get engaged with his fans, so he just dropped this. But I mean, the stuff in this song are deep. So hey, if you're out there, you know what I'm talking about. If you think this is a beef song, just drop your comment and let's, I mean, I, I don't just put any insult out there. If you think this is a beef, just let me know. If you're a fan of Sack, just let me know. Your comment and your idea, you think he's being creative, he's not just dropping any this at this point because he already said he's not going to reply anybody that want to use him to become famous. So, hey, why is he dropping this song at this point? All right, you're still watching Urban Mix and this your boy Prince. If this is the first time you're watching this show, please... Just go straight, click the button right there, subscribe to the channel, and anytime we come live, you're gonna be the first person to see us. Right about now, we're gonna come in again with Twitch coming on the side. He's gonna explain a lot of things going on in the internet. Stay tuned, stay back, we're coming back right now. Right now, you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. You're welcome to Urban Mix. You're still watching Urban Mix. As I told you, we were coming back and hey, your man Twitch is here in the studios as always, looking fresh, looking dapper, and yeah. it's it's always on point, man. On Urban Mix, it's all about, hey, looking clean, sharp, and fresh. Man, what's up? What's going on? Oh, bro, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, yes. it's, it's a whole lot of stuff going on and we're trying to put it together today. And on Urban Mix, as always, you know, we're trying to bring you the best and the best as always. 
Tell me what is going on in the entertainment industry generally before we go on with whatever is happening already blazing. Do you remember when uh, this scientist said uh, there's an asteroid coming all the way to uh, Earth? I think it was just passing by. Mm -hmm. I think it was just this April. They said it's within this April. Yeah. But I think this asteroid came today and it so, happened in Ghana. It happened in Ghana from the United States or it happened in Ghana. Where was the asteroid? coming it was was it coming from the united states heading back in ghana or where was it coming from actually this asteroid was coming from united states here i mean i mean just break it down hey everybody watching he's trying to just beat it by the bush just go straight let us know what is happening what are you talking about so this asteroid has been like when the scientists started talking about it nobody took it serious because uh -huh. the scientists was just saying it's something that is going to pass or something nothing nothing serious but it just happened okay. today from united states to ghana mm -hmm. there is an asteroid called sub zero uh -huh. if anybody have heard of it or you haven't heard of it just go to youtube and check it you can check it on urban mix youtube you just go to twitter you can see everything. This asteroid is hitting hard in Ghana. Like so you, you, uh, okay. So guys, he's actually talking about the new banger. I don't call it beef. I don't call it this song. Sub Zero. It's massive. Are you talking about this guy on the this screen guy, right now? This guy. This guy. Fear him. What? Uh, no, 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 no. He's smiling. Smiling. He's always smiling. Man, that means it's cool. Uh, 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 so, so what are you trying to say? That this song is it good? Bad? Or what are you trying to, I mean, I throw it when I was doing the update mix. I, I don't think it's a beef song. So what are you talking about? <laughs> it's not a beef song. Bro, it's a beef. Oh, shoot. Who is he beefing at the end of the day? There's a title on an album mix called Kong Beef. Just give a name to this beef because Kong we, beef. we we're calling it. it Kong Beef. What beef do you think this is all about? Corona beef. It's a Corona beef. Corona I mean, beef. who can eat Corona beef? Because the, already everybody's running away from Corona, so I don't think anybody will come close to this. Why do you think it's a beef song? Because Sack said he's not going to respond to anybody if your career is dead. He's not ready to respond to anybody to just help you build your career. So why do you think it's a respond to anybody? Um, it's a respond to somebody because after somebody just did his show uh -huh. some days ago, uh -huh. And this Sarkodier guy, where, where is he? I still need him. This Sarkodier guy dropped this Sub-Zero. Okay. This Sub-Zero full of words, like bars, bars upon bars. Like, I, I don't know where he gets all this writing from. Okay. I don't know. Let's let's break this one down. You said somebody just did a, a concert and that, that. Man, you got to be good. Go straight to the point. Shatawali just did a concert. Okay. Some few days ago. All His right. fake concert. It was good. Like he did it. Are a you good saying job. fake concert or fake concert? You get fake, me? Hey, fake. hey, hey, hey. -A. Hey, as some fans out there, man, you gotta hit on this guy. You better say the right words. Fate as in in Ghana we call it fate as in GDS stuff like that, oh, right? Oh yeah. Fake concert. It's not fake concert. Because <laughs> people are using it as a fake. Because people are saying, man, that concert was like in Ghana, we have a term called Alo. Oh, Alo. You know who used that word Alo as a low concert? It was Achipalago. Achipalago. Yeah, I mean, I we'll come over there, but I'm not saying a fake concert. We're saying fate. F-A-I-T-H, -H, correct? Yeah, fate. So, yeah. fate concert. So, why do you think because Shatawali just did a fake concert, that's why Sakori is dropping this? I mean, just we have to be honest. Why do you think so? Um, after, after the fate concert, like, everything was great. Mm-hmm. He waited till, for me, I think he waited till the Fate concert because mm -hmm. Shatawale did a good job like building out this stage and everything, being just one person on stage yep. and singing with no back. I do, though he has some backup, but he did a great job. It was good. I watched it and I mm -hmm. like it. But after some few days after the Fate concert, the asteroid came, South Korea, talking about stuff, bars upon bars, sharing 1K to people that, that don't have it. Just listen to the song. Like for real. You know what? Just let's pause right here. Let's take, let's listen to the song. Judge it yourself. Let's come back and analyze it. Just take a listen. They drop the fire back with a dip. Man, I just bought another crib. 2020 best to summer chip. God damn it. Near me chilling with the act off. But you only hard on the laptop. Charlie, make you meet me for the pack top. You go book back when I take the mask off. 
I just have zero with the flow. Yes. So so eyes with the true. And the ground rappers have a day when I can them 2020. I feel where they you go blow. God damn it. You're still watching Every Mix, and this is your boy Prince, and I'm here today with Twitch as always, fresh and clean. Man, why do you think this song? I mean, there are some bars in there, but I don't think he was directing it to Shata Wally because, man, Shata Wally's this song, he actually mentioned Sakodi's name. So, man, I don't think this is a beef replied or whatever to Shatawali because he didn't mention anybody's name. Why would you guys want to relate the bars to Shatawali? Uh, Sakodia is like a grown artist. Okay. He's been in the game for some, like a long, long, long time. Yep. And he knows what he's doing. He just don't want to say some names, but bro, like there's some words that you can connect it to somebody. Yeah. And that the somebody the you're talking about is Shatta. It's Shatta. That, that, that thing is, it's Shatta. Like, no matter what, it's still Shatta. He dropped the first bars with some beef and all that. And Sakodia was like, I'm not going to reply. I'm not going to reply. But actually, he was setting a bait. Okay. He was telling us fans that, oh, I'm not going to reply for us to forget. And he will drop it. Okay. But we are still on him. So so right now, the debate on, on, on internet right now is, this is a reply to Shatta Wale. Sakodi actually came out and said he's not going to reply. So why would he do that now? Just drop your comment right now. Just share your views with us. We're not judging anything. He is saying this is a beef song. This is not a beef song. Sakodi, it's a time artist. He would time the stage and make sure that like, okay, this is the time I have to drop this. Because nobody knew it. As I told you guys the last time that you guys were like, Furious, you didn't know what was going on with him. I told you he was just recording a banger and this is crazy That's all I see it. I don't see it as a beef. He knows when to attack It's not because everybody is attacking so then he also come in and attack He would just be cool be quiet and the time unexpected Damn. Then he hit you yeah. like a Mayweather. Just, <laughs> yeah, just just look at he was in. He is still in America, right? Yeah, yeah. He's so still here. after after he released his video, he yeah. did his video in uh, Spain. Yes, I know that. And with this coronavirus bringing out, like coming out and destroying everything. Everything, yeah. People hasn't like actually paid attention to his video that much. Yep. So when he realized, okay, then to me that is how I see. When he realized, he's like, okay, let's start this uh, DJ stuff. Yep. Sakodi started it, so all the attention is on Sakodi. So, I mean, you also bring in some dynamics here. So you were like, coronavirus was taking everything. Social media, everything was coronavirus. Yes. So even after dropping his videos, it, it didn't get the attention that maybe he expected it. Yes. So you think that is the reason why he started behind the beats? Yeah, to entertain, to, to, make, to make the fans and to make people, because being at home every day, though we have internet and all that you can play video game and do all that but it's not like going out to get fresh air yeah. people are bored people always watch the same stuff over and over again but i mean this point still come to the fact that star did not know how to drop what he knows the times and season as to even though when he dropped that video people were complaining about the quality of the video and everything but I mean, he came out on his first Insta Live video that he did. He came out to say that video was purposely shot like that. As an editor, I know sometimes, like when I watch some videos, I'll go by like, why are they achieving this? Why did they shoot it like that? Because when I was watching it for the first time, I watched some of the shots of the drone, and I realized that the, the drone shots were different from the one that is shot with the, the regular camera. Mm -hmm. And the explanation he gave, I realized it was true because the drone shot, there was no way they were gonna put that filter that he's talking about, the, the women's uh, uh, lingerie or whatever. Mm -hmm. He said they actually used it. So anybody watching it, if you're an editor or if you're a producer or a video maker, you can see the difference between the drone shots and the regular and the camera regular shots were different. Shot. Why? Because the drone shot, it's like, they cannot put those stuff yes. that he was talking yeah. about. So if you see the drone shot it was sharp, clean, but when it comes to the regular camera shots, like the close up, the beach short, the, the, the pool side and all that, mm -hmm. they were different. So I think that was the reason. He, he, he is mastermind. He, he's sharp. Actually, he said those, all those things in his, his new Sub-Zero. Yes. Yeah, so. like, 
he's sharp. He he knows what he's doing, and that's what he's doing. It's not about yeah. like what you're telling him. I told you. Man, shout out to Sack Audio and the Sack Nation and the Sack fans. Man, just drop your comment if you think this is a beef. I'm not saying it's a beef. I don't believe it's a beef, but hey, that's is, that is what he's saying. It's, let's it is, let's it let's it is what it is. Let's come straight to. I mean, shout out the man that everybody is saying that Sakodia has replied. How do you see his um, fate concept? Not fate concept, fate concept. <laughs> oh, it was good. It yeah. was good. The fate concept was good. He did a great job. I watched it on Foresight when he started building all the stage and all the people. He did a great thing. Like, I, I like how beautiful it is because uh, you can see it where the stage was, was right it's just pool. right like on, it's top just of the on top of the pool yeah you can see it it was so beautiful yeah. like it was so beautiful he's like he did a great job and i like how he did it out of nowhere in this hard time it's not easy for you to hold up something like that at your own house do something have a nice stage and all that and everything and sing about some hours just for people to stay home and look at it so why is it that he decided to just do it by himself? Because people are saying that, hey, you have these guys that, I mean, even though he has sacked his guys for like during last year, but why is it that he couldn't bring any of his guys to be able to perform with him? He, did he want to just do it by himself? Does it come to the fact that people are still saying he's selfish in terms of trying to always be by himself? He doesn't bring people together to be able to when it comes to his shows why do you think he decided to just do it by himself um uh, for me i think i think he just did it because of the, the coronavirus that we're yeah. in the coronavirus okay. though he had like uh people playing the band and the cameraman and okay. all that and all that yeah. and some presenters all yeah. there it is it is at least i would say a little bit uh sensible for him to do that because it was just him if he had some of his people out there they would interact so i mean he did a good job by trying to stay safe i mean he took all these safety precautions even though he brought a lot of people to his house i mean this is not a time that you invite people like that people setting up the stage those mining all the cameras and stuff like that i mean Shata, hey Shata. Anyway, you're still you're still champion. You did a great job, but in terms of people always complaining about, he is always miming. This time around, was it a time that he wanted to prove a point to them that hey, he know how to play a live band? That he did live band from the beginning to the end. Do you think it was a time that he was trying to prove a point to his critics that hey, you know what, I can do a live show? play a live band yeah I, I think i think it is part of it it is it is part because i haven't actually seen shata doing a live band and he did it for some hours all by himself just there uh, singing and dressing looking so nice and all that it was it was good he he did a great job like i like the setup i like the idea behind it in this hard time it's not easy for an artist just to build up a whole stage bring up a whole crew and everybody to come do this live concert he did it people watch it on uh, facebook and all that he did great. i mean honestly it looks like he is the first artist to do this yes in the whole africa i don't know yet but if you google it and just google it and see who is the first artist to organize a one-man show a big stage as such in his own house massive he did it i mean he's always setting the record even though yeah, i mean people have their own issue with him and other stuff yeah. it came to the point that after all these people were still complaining about his outfit and that he didn't dress well and it was like i don't know how do you see first of all his appearance i mean you are always looking i mean you know what it is man when it comes to swag when it comes to like putting things together do you think his appearance like his outfit for the event was it appropriate was it on point or what i mean people are complaining i don't know why oh he he did he dressed well i, li I like how he dressed yeah like everything was good like the outfit everything was planned yeah everything was planned everything was scripted everything like everything so you you although people are talking about it people are still going to talk about it 
that is how life is that is how we humans are nothing is going to be better for someone but he dressed up for the occasion okay. just look at the background yeah the background goes with what he did okay with his white white and i saw him with a blazer and stuff on like it was great he just look at the background the pool and everything and he dressed for the occasion it was good there's nothing wrong about it. so i mean everybody that out there complaining about the dressing man that is shatter he goes like the way he feels he dressed like the way he feels so hey drop your comments in terms of performance just be honest 10 5 in between where are you going to place him in terms of oh, performance because this is the first really? time he's doing a live band so i mean if you're out there just drop your comment let us know with his performance as a live band performing i mean i don't want to call call anybody's name because i know people are not comparing him to stone boy mm -hmm. as in samini i don't want to go there because when it comes to live band samini is it's an on a, di a different level but yeah. On his own level, this is being the first time he's doing a live show. How would you grade him? I seen performance. Mm, if rating, I'll rate him to be uh, like seven, seven. I mean, I mean, seven is still a good. One. I mean, yeah, seven, seven is, is a pass because it's his first time doing a live band, and you can't be perfect like those that have done it for so many yep. times. So I, I understand seven is. I mean, it's so massive. So hey, if you are a SM fan out there, just show some love, drop your comment, like, share this video. I mean, we're trying to promote African music, African artists on Urban Mix. It's all about African artists, even though here in the United States, but hey, we're still promoting African entertainment, African music. Everybody is our lover. If you do good, we are good to promote. If you do bad, we are here to say it. We're still talking about what is blazing on Twitter, Instagram, and everywhere. Behind the hit, this was a massive thing that started here in the United States when uh, Swiss Beat and Timbaland went on Instagram Live, yeah. did back to back hits, and it was massive. Sakode saw it. Nigerians also did their own, and now Sakode started this. As we were saying earlier, how do you see it? Sakodia came back this week saying that, hey, it's getting worse. I mean, people are now comparing who did what, who won, and who lost. It's now becoming massive. People are now grading who lost and who won. The first one, let's go step by step. The first one was between Apiatus and JQ. You watched it. We all watched it in the studio. Tell me. How was your experience before and after? With Apiotis and JQ, it was uh, okay for me because yeah. they, they didn't make it competitive, competitive. Like it was just um, them playing, playing their old stuff yeah, and stop. all that. So it was, it was okay. It was just the beginning of that. Why, why is it that? Because they were old style, old folks. And I mean, I'm not saying they're old, but like they are kind of way back hit. Because if you're looking at JQ, JQ with like then times, I'm talking about old times, boo back. Mm -hmm. Then times when you say JQ, then they drop the beat. <laughs> it was like some beat skill. Like, so was it because like they were like old style hits? That's why it was like on the slow level or what? Why? Because like people are not like grading them in terms of like they actually draw it. They said all of them did well. Yeah. Why was it the issue like? Um, so with uh, JQ and Apiatus, you know Apiatus have been there for some time. Yeah. JQ too Same. has been, yeah, both of them are old, old and they are still raining. Like yeah. if you come up, like if you tell them to make a beat right now, it's still they're gonna sick. kill it. Yes. But the thing is, they started it. They started it. They, they didn't think about making it something crazy. Okay. They didn't think about making it competitive. Okay. As the rest follows. Okay. So it was just, okay, From drop the a beat, one. I drop my, people are happy, and we go. Okay. That was all. Yeah. Let's go to the second one. Just right after Appear 2 and JQ, then came uh, Q Beat and uh, your main man. Mr. Hardison. Yes. Q Beat, uh, Richie Mensa. Just tell me what was your experience when we were all watching it. I mean, go to a point I wanted to run away. <laughs> just, just let me know. How, how did you see that? 
QB, Mr. Addison, oh my goodness, Mr. Addison. Insenku? QB. All right. Uh, he, he killed it. He killed it. One thing I like about QB and Richie is QB has a lot of people behind him, mm -hmm. his fans. And Richie also had his boys behind him, okay. Kiddy and um, Kwame Eugene. Kwame Eugene and them. Um, like, but the beat Kill Beat was dropping was bang, was banging. Why was it banging? Because it has R2Bs in it. All right. R2Bs, biggest group artist in Ghana. Yeah. Right. R2Bs in it was dropping uh, Kim Promise. All right. Darko Vibes. All right. All that. They are new running people. I know. And Kiddy. still, still dropping more from Sakura at the same time. Yeah. So Richie did drop one or two old songs that right. was good like still um, with that same because almost Sam, like he's all his hate yeah, coming from Sam Sam and stuff and like that there's jane and uh Irene and, jane Irene stuff. and jane stuff it was good it was an old song that we haven't heard in some That's time like, but when you listen to kill beats beat like when you drop you can hear the right. instrumental like the bass and all that is like hip-hop that's it so did QB took it to another level as in, oh, okay, we are all playing. It's like you being young boys playing around and you don't know that, hey, this guy is taking this game serious. Did, did QB took this into a different level and why, why do you think he did that? Oh, Q, QB took it as, uh, um, this is like a war. I'm pretty sure QB didn't come to this just to play around. He just came to kill it. He just came to tell Richie that, yo, I'm here. I'm coming to destroy you. Just hold on, sit down, relax, and listen. All Richie was saying was, oh, nice, nice, oh, nice, 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 nice. But Killbeat was killing him. Killbeat, if Killbeat was in a movie, he would be one of the baddest. He would be the baddest, baddest, we, we call it blue man. The baddest <laughs> blue man to get you on the one side of the corner and just beat you up. Uh -huh. I mean, and... It was, it was like, it got to a point as I'm telling you, I wanted to just run away because yeah. like, he would drop a beat and he would be waiting for Richie to r drop something and he'll be like, okay, should I go? He said, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And he would drop like three beat after beat, hit after hit and Richie was still searching. It got to a point, Kwame Uji have to drop a beat for him and it was like, that was the time I was like, oh yeah. my goodness. Sometimes. Is it the other term my guys are now hitting on the Accra guys? Because like Street Beat also now took it to another level, just flowing the same steps of Kill Beat. Why, why is this now becoming a whole big competition now? It's like everybody coming on the show want to kill it and kill it. That's it. Uh, with, with Street Beat, he did a great job. He right. did a great job. But one thing about Breezy is most of his songs that he played you know castro mm -hmm. castro was like for me castro was the main the like, main maker the main of breezy because most of castro's song you hear dj breezy man shout out to castro wherever you are man we're missing you man you let your man down because like <laughs> if you were here by this time breezy will be having hit after hit and it got to a point that i mean I realized Breezy was playing a delay tactics. Why, why, why was he doing that? Oh, I, I don't think, think he was just do, doing that for purpose. I, th I think he did that intentionally, like for real. Cause when, when someone is dominating on you, like someone is having the much power on you, yeah. you just, you get frustrated. So the frustration caused him to have that delay tactics. The only I mean, at the point, it's to just to delay and kill yeah. time. I mean, at the time, people that are watching, like everybody on the live, were like, man, stop the music. Let's get to the next one. But he was still like, away. He's like, he was just delaying the whole. That's I it. mean, Breezy, I know you did your best, but hey, people are still judging. People are still saying Street Beat took this one as well. I mean, really? so right now it's straight three tema. Mm -hmm. And I cry what? Zero or what? Because uh, one Accra, Accra, Accra was Accra saying, one, um, uh, uh, appear appear to to did great. So, so, great. so now it's three, one. Mm -hmm. And okay, let's go on. After that, it was just back to back. MOG and your man, Miss Master Gazi. Just also let me know. So this was still tell my stuff. I mean, I don't want to go there anymore. Why is it that all these tell guys are now taking it serious? Because Miss Master Gazi also took it to another level. Yes. Why is it that all these guys that are 
having hits with Stoneboy were winning because it looks like any guy, any beats maker, any producer that has a lot of song with Stoneboy, Sarkodier, and all these guys were like, they were the ones winning. Why is it that? Uh, when I was watching, I saw Stoneboy commenting. I saw um, Sarkodier yep. commenting. Like a lot of artists were yep. commenting and all that. But it all it it all sum up to the music, okay. the people behind the music. Music, okay. Sarkodie, uh Miss Master Gazi drops Sarkodie. Though uh, Mug Mug Moji ha MOG has a lot of Sarkodie, like Sarkodie. MOG and Sarkodie. Uh, they like, get a lot. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, Miss Master Gazi was dropping some hit upon hit upon hit upon hit. He dropped uh, this guy, uh, D Crime. Okay. D Crime and Sarko Day. Long time. Decrime. Yeah. Long so time. When, when, when you drop old song like that and you hear it, you're like, oh, no, this is banger. Man. Because that time, that, that song was, was hit. Scene. Yeah. So that is what, like, that is the competition about. Like, you drop an old song that when, like, the fans or the listeners, he, when we hear it, we are like, oh, this song was hit. Damn. So that is what Master Gazi was doing, dropping hits upon hit. And the people behind him, the people I saw him turning off the light and bringing up a lighter. lighter like, Man, that was yeah. a, that was that was a massive one out there. I mean, yeah. so right now it looks like it's three to one, right? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's right now it will be four four to one. Why are you four. also giving KWR to 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 Tema again? Oh, kick kick yeah. I mean, K was on and uh, 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 GMG were also like GMG. the same cool guys. GMG uh, baby, yeah, GMG uh, baby. I mean, that was also massive. Uh, for me, um, Master Gazi and QB Beats. killed it because of the people behind him behind and how they changed everything. Uh, okay, they didn't take this as oh, let's come like and play music. Like, yeah. No. They just came to let people know that yeah, yeah the beat makers. Here. I came to win, and that is that. Though people would think it's not competitive, but in their mind, this is competitive. I like, mean, this is going viral. This a lot of people watching this, and a lot of artists are also get connecting to this. So I mean, if they get to know that, hey man, you get a lot of beats, you get a lot of hit yeah. beats and stuff like that. Yeah, so you're still gonna get yeah, connected. It's so, so a lot of promotion coming yourself. out there. So it's not about just coming to sit down and be playing music. Yeah. So I mean, so that is the reason why you think that the K Wars and uh, the other guys like it was still normal. Mm, they, they, the GMG and K Wars. They they did their best. They did what they could. It's not it's not easy to be behind like doing all that for the fans. But they, they did their best. Uh, I watched a little bit. I actually couldn't watch it all, but I watched a little bit. But I think it was it was fair. Oh Okay, let's go. Let's go. I mean, KY has been dropping a lot of sick beats. When it comes to Love is Rock, KY is good. He he is good. He's massive. I have personally worked with KY before back in the days in Spinters Road. There was a studio called Pentium Studio. So shout out to you, KY. This is your boy Prince right here. I mean, it was massive today watching you doing your thing. But there's one significant thing that k -Watt did today before even the show. He posted uh, um, Castro's picture and saying that he was dedicating this show to uh, uh, Castro. I mean, how is the connection and the feeling like? Was that the reason why people wanted to like let it stay cool or because like anytime Castro comes in, then every vibe is kind of slow and everything. How did you see that experience? Um, Castro, Castro and Kewa like way they back. go way back. They go way back. But the thing is now because of Kewa is dropping like it's Kewa's turn. Yeah. You should appreciate his man like 
all of us Ghanaians should appreciate like we've lost a mega star Castro I love Castro very much he's like he was the best but it's sad that this I mean so there's this conspiracy theory keep keep, keep coming up he's in the United States he's in Canada yeah. he's here he's dead I mean, do you still think Castro is alive? I mean, your own way. I'm not saying b based on what you believe. Do you still think he's alive? And if he's alive, why is still C hiding? I mean, I don't know. Uh, for me, there is nothing new under the sun. Yep. But nobody can also hide under this beautiful head that we live in. I think Castro passed. He's gone. If Castro was somewhere, even Bin Laden was even found. Yep. Bin Laden. So definitely Castro, if he was alive, he would have come I mean, up somewhere. Yeah. Are you dead? He's gone. We can't do anything about it. Lost Man, it. it's it's a sad one anytime we come back to talk about this. But hey, this is Urban Mix and you're watching us live right now in the studios of Urban Mix. And as always, as you know, please just go ahead, subscribe to the channel and always share this video, share your comment with us, anything that we drop. It's all about entertainment, African music, African entertainment, fashion. As always, you can see us, we're trying to look clean, look good, and some Air Force stuff, and some Balenciaga, and stuff like that. I mean, it's all about looking clean, looking fresh on Urban Mix. See you on the flip side, coming back. Right now, you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. If you're in UK and you're watching us today, please subscribe to this because we have a good news for you. We are coming to you straight on your big screens out there, not only on YouTube as you're watching us, but hey, we're coming big to you. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Instagram, anywhere you are in the United Kingdom, London, uh, uh, which areas do you know in London or in uh, in the United Kingdom? Have you been there before? No, I haven't. I, I only know Tottenham Hotspurs and... I mean, we watch, uh, we watch soccer, we, 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 we watch, watch soccer. soccer, so like we know what is going on out there. So yeah. hey, if you're watching us for the first time and you live around UK, we are coming on your screen. It's a big, massive one. We're going to announce when we are starting the first episode in the first channel. It's going to be massive out there. So hey, if you're watching us, we shout out to you, all UK viewers, and we thank you also for always watching us here. Thank you for being with us. And if you're watching us for the first time on this channel, this is Urban Mix, and this is your boy Prince. We're here with Twitch. It has been massive. Man, if you have any shout outs, anybody in Ghana, wherever they are, just drop it and let's go to the game. Oh, shout out to Flavia in the UK. Uh, shout out to Chat222 fam, uh, Ato, Harry, Luca, Churches, Man, Tio. Shout out to my family. I love you guys and peace. All right, so follow him, Twitch is in. That is uh, Twitch is in on, uh, on Instagram. Twitch is on Instagram. All right. That's same right there. So thank you once again. Anybody watching us from the UK, we thank you for being part of the show. We are here in the United States, DMV to be precise. So if you're watching us, as we're looking clean, looking sharp all the time, it's all about the love you're sharing. It's all about entertainment, African music, African movie, fashion, everything that has to do with Africa everything that has to do with global entertainment. Thank you once again for watching today. This is your boy Prince with me here, Twitch is in. Thank you, see you next week. Thank you, and it's Urban Mix. Make sure you stay tuned with the best. Bye for now. Right now you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best.